What is happening, everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with Undertale Episode 8. Last time, I think we did some snail racing. Uh, it has been a, a couple weeks since I last recorded. I, I was recording all my Undertale on the 10th of April. It is now the 27th of April. I just got done recording the post-com for Episode 5 because of my screw-up. But uh, we're here. We're here. We're, we're getting, getting... I don't know how far we are on the guy. I assume we're close to done, but... Might not be. Uh, okay. I don't think we've went this way. <gasps> okay, definitely not. Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's see. Let's talk to him real quick. About yourself. Anything you want to know about yourself? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Saying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wah ha ha. That emblem. Eh, you don't know what that is. Man, I should have done voices for this series. Missed opportunity. Uh, but... What are they teaching kids in school nowadays? Wow, absolutely nothing. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wow, great name, huh? It says, I always say. What is it that you always say? Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair, I guess. Okay, the king. Wait. New? What do you mean new? Is there gonna be a, another? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. It looks like a Zelda, a combination of the Zelda symbol and the Digimon uh, crest of hope, maybe? One of the Digimon crests from the original. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. That's me. Lately, the people have been talking, ab have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. Okay, so that's that's the reference towards this being a role-playing sort of game. I can be the angel, or I can be the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the prophecy is that an angel will come and free them. And there's two prophecies. That it will be a good angel who will literally just save them. Or a bad angel who will free them by killing them and releasing them. Cool. The king. King Fluffy Buns. He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. What, like a dog? Eh, why'd I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. We'll see. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, looks like a crab. Sea tree. Speed up in battle. Okay. Armor. Invin invincible longer. So, I'll lose defense. So I don't really want that. Torn notebook. Okay, so I want those. Heal. 18. Well, let's take one of these. Well, let's let's just see. I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's see what let's see what all we've got in our our inventory. Nice cream, bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. How uh how much do these these heal? Nicicle. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Ten or uh, eleven, whatever. This doesn't heal much, right? Oh no, I'm so, wait. Did that actually? Okay, here's a lot, but I'm supposed to not eat that, I don't think. Astronaut food? 20. Let's go get that speed thing. So that he doesn't get killed. Thanks. You're welcome. Be careful out there, kid. Thanks, buddy. Uh, let's see. Anything we need in here? I think we'll... Let's put away a couple bicycles. 
Yeah, let's put those away just in case, uh, just in case we run, run into something we need to pick up. Don't want our inventories to be too full. Okay, I think we can head right on out of here then. On our way. Hurt. So we've been reading a lot of these signs, so. A hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians seal us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. So I could leave, theoretically. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Interesting. There's only one way to reverse... Oh. I was trying to read the flowers. But I can't. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Interesting. That's trippy. Special enemy Timmy appears here to defeat you. Act Timmy. Feed Timmy Flakes. Sure. Timmy only wants the Timmy Flakes. Did I get- No! So hungry! Dies? What? My analog stick still messes up in this game. I, I'm using like a different controller and everything. Timmy vibrates intensely. Did I give it to me, Flex? Flex. You flex with Timmy. No! Muscles are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. What? No! Just the two of us, huh? What the F? Oh god, how did I get hit by that? Aaron is ready for your next flex. He has to flex himself into the stratosphere. Aaron flexes very hard. Yeah, he does. Flex himself out of the room. I don't know why my analog stick keeps doing that. It's really weird. I'm literally on a different controller than I've been using before. Makes no sense. I'll try to like disable the analog stick too. Does not work. I'm gonna throw my controller on the ground if it gets me killed though. You walk into them. Okay, spare. What? Smells like a bait shop. Well, he had just one little attack. Oh, I can't spare him. He's having quiet time. Imitate, there you go. You approach one of them suddenly. Oh, uh, they like the, oh! Oh God! What? The heck? I don't think he could actually attack. He needs some distance. Unhug. Lie down. You lie down. Moldbug lies in too. Moldbug understands life now. Cool. Slime sounds. Great. Okay, I've never actually seen these guys attack me before. I kind of thought they were passive. <laughs> Moldbug gyrates reservedly. Please, for the love of God. Oh my gosh. Unhug. You don't hug Moldbug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Blech. All right, we did it. Mold bug seems comfortable with your presence. Let's spare okay, That's the hardest mold bug I've ever had. That is interesting. Was not like that before. Ah, uh, okay. What do we do here? What doth we messed up? Okay, we couldn't go this way before, I don't think. Okay. That's some real hard puzzle there. Woshu and Aaron appear. Uh, let's just flex first. Get him out here. He flexes twice. Increases for you too? Both of us. Yep. Out, darn spot. Flexing causes? Okay, flex more. Oh, God. Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Yeah, we'll flex. Flex hard. Aaron flexes twi thrice as hard. Nice. I won't lose though. Yeah, you will. Out, darn spot. Oh. Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. He's gonna flex himself right out. Makes sense. 
This guy's pretty easy to... As I get hit. <laughs> While she was rinsing off a pizza. Wash... Oh, okay. I can leave him. I don't know why. But great. <laughs> I intimidated him after beating the flexing guy. The seahorse. Kingdra. Or Seedra. Horsey. I don't know. What? What did I just do? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Mold bug and wash you appear. Mold bug, unhug. You don't have. Hug him, he appreciates my respective boundaries. Cool. Scrub a dub dubs. Roar. Dude, the, the mold bugs used to not do anything. Oh, okay. Yep. I can't do it. It's like fighting me harder. Fight me as hard as possible. I'm not just a keyboard. What? He's rinsing off pizza. I guess we can clean him. You asked Walshu to clean you. Yeah, it's around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh yeah, this this thing. Sometimes you just gotta take the hit to get clean. Walshu wonders if tears are sanitary. I mean, I guess that they probably should be. I'm no scientist. Nope. Wrong way. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. The longer they're around, the less I can see. For some reason. Please. Alright, we're good. Right on out of here. We're safe, no worries. We're at the heal soon, actually. May, uh... Go ahead and pop bicycle. Since it's pretty bad anyway. As I walk into a checkpoint. Oh. Behind you. Of course. W uh, why would it know to say that? Into the grass. Da -da. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to the suffering and pain. Give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Uh, I don't think there's any other option, honestly. Oh. Undying! I'll help you fight! And he's dead. Yo, <laughs> you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. I am the fight. Oh, wait. <laughs> Who's she fighting? Oh, no. <laughs> you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Really? Undyne just let me go to... Undyne's not very good at her job. I must say. You aren't going to tell my parents about... <laughs> That's fine. How do I get in there? So, oh, okay. Makes sense. Downton. Oh, God. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? No. You hear a passing conversation. Of course, I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You're passing... Okay. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Oh, okay. That's cute. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Hmm. But why will go empty? Will I kill them, or will I save them? Hmm. 
I know I'm not getting it. So somebody already told me that I messed something up and I won't get a perfect ending. But whatever. Tricks. Okay. Uh, there's that guy. How's he here? I thought Undyne took him. Is he going to try to kill me? Yo. I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me. Um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes me, makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm, I'm going, I'm going to go home now. <laughs> thought he was going to try to kill me or something. I guess. Nope. Oh no, yo, wait, wait, help. I tripped. I fall and I can't get up. Undying. Uh oh. Do we save him or do we run? What, what are you standing around for? Go here, dude. We're heroes. Get him up. Yay. We saved him. <laughs> you, you, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. He's dead. What? What? Undyne loves everybody. I love it. It's so great. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> They're so weird. We'll just have to be friends instead. That works. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Probably not. They're probably pretty happy you're not there, to be honest. Later, dude. Bye. That was worth. It's so quiet in that room. Okay, what a great room. Immersive, truly. I want this mouse to leave. Thank you. Sorry if that mouse was there this whole time. <laughs> Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far, really. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I should tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. T no. You know what? Screw it! <laughs> Why should I tell that story? When you're about to die! No! I was not expecting this right now. What? You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you. You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. What? Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Well, I killed like one thing, I think. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared. And all the pain you inflicted on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned into dust, she's gonna send right back through your, through her spear. Yeah, I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. I killed one person like completely on accident. I I hate this game. Okay, the wind howling. You're filled with determination. Save. Okay, I hate to say it, but I think we're gonna actually call this episode there it's gonna make it a short one but i have no idea how long this is gonna take um we're ready to go though so uh i'll see you guys when we fight undyne bye bye